Okay guys, so how to cut your hair. Whoops, <laughs> this thing came undone because I had it too tight on my neck. Um, first off, something like this would be nice. If you have a towel, just use a towel. That way you don't get hair all over you. Um, it would really help out. Another thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need two mirrors. So as you guys can see, I have that one and then I have this one. And so you'll see kind of why you need two mirrors also. Um, but the first thing that I'm actually gonna do that I like to start off with, a lot of people do it differently. So if uh, you don't like this way, then go watch somebody else's video. Get out, leave right now. <laughs> but I'm just gonna start off trimming my beard and I'm gonna go really short. I'm gonna go a one because I'm gonna fade from a zero up. And so I just like my stuff being real clean. So you're just gonna just turn on your clipper, put the long guard on it, and just go to town, essentially. You're gonna have some really cool styles going on though while you're doing this. So yeah, we're just going to um, skip forward to whenever I finish trimming my beard. absolutely done trimming the beard so now since I already have this and I got the one on there and I'm going to go from a zero um, fade um, I'm gonna need the one in there anyways so I typically just end up coming up with it anyways um, and just start fading immediately into the top of the head as you can see just kind of start hitting it all the way around and don't be afraid because if you mess up, the worst thing that can happen is you go get it fixed by the barbershop. So, just go for it. Okay, so this is kind of why I told you guys about the mirror. is so that you could actually be able to see if you guys were able to go all the way around. Even if it looks choppy and whatnot, that's fine because you're gonna fade it anyways. That, I mean, that's the goal, at least. So that should be fine. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put on my number two. This is the way I like to do it. I'm gonna take the two, but I'm gonna fully open it. That's what this little thing is. It makes it technically like a two and a half. So I'm gonna take that two and a half and I'm just gonna run it all the way up to the side of the head. Probably about to like right there. And as you can see, it's not fading this line, but it's not supposed to yet. This is just kind of the way that I like to do it. I like to work my way from the bottom up, but then also from the top down. And honestly, guys, I know right now you guys are probably like, bro, you're not even looking at what you're doing. It's because I've done it for a minute, so I kind of know. But not only that, you can feel how high you're going up on your head. So just keep going the same distance all the way around and you guys should be all right. Only that, dude. I got a, uh, I got a big old pimple right there. Oh well, it's gonna have to do. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, go ahead and close it. Now you got a flat two, a straight two, or a true two, whatever it is you guys wanna call it. I don't know, I don't know what the term is. I didn't go to barber school or anything like that. So you're just gonna run it just a little bit below where you ran that two and a half, or that two open, I should say. And again, just kind of feel it out. Okay, so now this is where it starts getting fun. Now you guys are gonna go ahead and grab your, typically I would say grab your one and do it open, but if you have a one and a half guard, then just go ahead and use that guard and close it. So instead of having it open, close it. And this is where you'll really start seeing a difference in the fade, making these lines down here starting to disappear a little bit. And again, guys, you just kind of really got to get like gauge your lines. And that's what you got these mirrors for. So if the first time it didn't come out good, um, then just keep keep checking up on your mirror. And that way you can hit those lines as you're going. So then what 
I just did there was I just opened it. So it was closed and I just opened it. And now I'm just going just a little bit higher. Just kind of making it fade just a little bit better. And not only that, but anywhere you went with that too, it'll kind of clean it up as well. Okay, so now your fade at this point should be almost done, but obviously there's still gonna be some work to it. So if you know from the beginning, we started here with a one, and then we went from a, a one and a half to a two. So as you can see, that's kind of blended already. Um, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your one, and what I would do is open it about halfway. So see right there is completely closed, right there is completely open. That's about halfway right there. And then this way you can really start fitting into that one and a half. And right here, I would say pay attention as much as you can on the mirror, because you'll be able to kind of see exactly where those areas are that you need to hit. And again, I've been doing this for a minute, so I really don't have to like look at the mirror that much anymore, thankfully, but it doesn't hurt. Okay, and now you're gonna go ahead and open your one all the way up so it's a one and a half or one open. And you're just gonna go a little bit higher it's just kind of repetitive stuff, man. It's honestly like not that hard. It's just once you start doing it over and over again, you kind of get the hang of it. And it's just like the little minimal differences between the one and a half guard and like the one and a half, because those are really the majority of where your fade's coming in. Once you get to the twos and threes, I mean, you don't really need any skill to be able to fade that in. But now we have our one faded in with our one and a half. And so now literally it's just gonna be adding the zero um, and just kind of finishing off the top, but the top's really easy. Okay guys, so now it's gonna be the fun part, going from zero. So what you're gonna do is you have this half guard right here, right? This is gonna be your zero. So like I said, I like working from the top down. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this half guard on there with this completely closed. And I'm just gonna start hitting it all the way around my head. And if you got a brush to get all these like little hairs off, cause right now it's a little hot and I don't have the AC on. So my hairs are kind of sticking a little bit. You just go ahead and hit it. As you can see, your fade's already coming in real nice. Obviously you just touch up spots like up here. I still haven't done anything up here. So you guys don't judge me. This is really what I'm working on. Up here, I'll show you guys just a little bit later. It's the exact same thing, just with higher numbers. And this is the same thing, literally. After you hit it with the with a half guard, now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna open it halfway and then you're gonna keep hitting it right around the same spots and just kind of flick your wrist up a little bit and it'll start really pu pulling in the fade. We got some company. Hi, Goose. What are you doing, baby? <laughs> okay, baby, I'll be right there, okay? You wanna play Mario Kart? Okay, I'll be right there. We can play some Mario Kart, okay, baby? Alrighty, I'll see you soon. It's my Goose. Okay guys, so that is pretty much it for the fade. You can see it's faded very nicely. Now I just gotta take some volume off this top and you'll kind of see the, the change with this fading into this. It's gonna be the exact same thing. I'm just gonna take my two and I am literally gonna run it all the way around again to open. Now, when you're hitting these areas, you gotta make sure that when you hit it, you go right here and then you flick up 
That way you're not going into this, the shape of your head. You actually want to build out your shape right here. So as straight as you can keep these almost like that, but just flip them up, it's going to give you 10 times better shape on your cut. Now I'm switching to a three again. Three, open. Fully open. Okay guys, so check it out. You can see the fade is really pretty much done. Now, this is the importance of having a mirror with you because you can actually see like this spot right here. I just need to go ahead and go a little bit over that with the number three. The top, very simple. I just go number four right here on the sides and then I'll do a number six on the top and then if I really want some detail I'll actually put in some scissor work um, and then that's pretty much it guys that is how you fade yourself up I'm gonna show you the finished product right now <laughs> how to cut your hair um, and essentially just give yourself a nice little fade. I mean, it is at home. Um, you don't have to pay any money. It does take a little practice at first. It's probably gonna take you a little bit longer, but you guys will see the more you do it and the more you do it, you end up cutting your hair in 15, 20 minutes and you'll be good to go. No, no need to go to a barber, no need to spend any money. Um, and then you guys can also practice on your friends and do the same techniques, but it'll be 10 times easier because you'll actually be seeing what you're doing. So you guys, let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if it helped you out. Let me know if you messed up your hair trying it. Um, and then I may possibly come and fix it for you for free. So just let me know. You guys have an awesome day. I'll see you guys later.